Born in Hong Mao Chuo of Xiaoyin, Yan Shuilong was a forerunner of Taiwan's oil painting and a representative oil painting artist from Tainan. After Yan passed away in 1997, a memorial park was dedicated to him for his lifelong contribution to public art and fine arts. Right after walking in here, you can see the statue of Mr. Yan Shuilong sitting and contemplating in his yard. In this memorial hall, you can also find works, his works and his artworks uh, during his lifetime. Uh, on my right behind me, what's worth a mention is that this is a min styled Yen family temple that you can also take a look. So if you want to learn about early Taiwan's contemporary artists, this is the right place to come. Yen is a Tainan 首先是用一个茅草茅屋来奉祀這種色彩幾十年前的作品跟現在看起來那個感覺還是很契合所以我們說它是有溫度的作品而且感覺每一幅畫都有它的故事這樣對對對對所以我們很容易掌控那個藝術家要表達的思想 This wall is a replica of, of, a, of a mosaic uh, artwork in Taipei Yuanshan Park and it actually is the evolution of Taiwan from the agriculture times to today's world so it's a good way for, for kids to learn here. This park is very quiet. It makes me feel calm. After learning about the life of Mr. Yan Shuilong, I feel more related to his work and his life than I ever thought I would be. And it's, it's really insightful to learn about the stories behind his works. So if you have the opportunity, definitely find time to come here. Right now, I'm here in this quiet alley of Xiaoyin district. All the busy hustle and bustle from the other street are all gone and isolated now. And I'm actually surrounded by a lot of traditional brick houses and also uh, alleys full of street art. So follow me. Black beans behind me of Xiai, Odawa, are actually the mascot here of this town. And although they're not as popular as other cartoon characters in this alley, they actually, I feel closer to them. I feel more related to them because 
um, they represent the hospitality and the passion of the people around here. And I would say Xiaing actually has more than three treasures, and they're all waiting here for you to explore.